What's up guys, this is James. I'm CEO of Bright Idea Marketing. And today I wanna to talk about how to structure your marketing campaigns. What it is you should be focusing on to try to get customers in the door. Now, if you're advertising on Facebook or AdWords or generally most of the platforms, uh, a product that's more than say $10, then you need to build a little bit of brand trust. Now, I've talked about this in my other video uh, on how to manage and how to choose the right Facebook ad objective. But in general, you need to build some trust with the consumer. Now, the reason why people go to um, a CVS or Walgreens or they go into a McDonald's is because they're familiar with the brand and there's a little trust with the brand. Now, if that trust or familiarity was not there, they would not be going to those places as often. You know, now there's some people who uh, will try new things, but if you have a choice between something that's familiar and something that's unfamiliar, it's actually a lot less energy for people to make a choice of things that they're familiar with and have had previous experience with. Now, what you want to do is think about that inside of the assets that you build and the ad campaigns that you put together. Uh, for example, in the first video, if you can provide pure value of something that's really useful, something that's tactical for the person who might buy from you, that is probably the best way to get someone interested in you or to engage with you. So try to come up with your best, if you're in, we'll say, consultation, uh, try to come up with your best advice that you would give somebody and you would charge for normally and put it into video format. And in that first video, when someone sees that, they realize several things. That you are credible, you actually know what you're talking about, and because you've given away something for free, it actually builds a little trust and even more uh, connection with you. So keep that in mind. Um, of course, after you run that first ad or that first asset that builds that little connection, um, the next step is to try to come up with something that was a little more engaging, that has a call to action to it, maybe asking them to uh, download a free report or find out more information. Whatever it is, don't ask them for a $10,000 program unless you spent a lot of extra time with them. So just keep that in mind with ad campaigns. I've seen a lot of people who just straight ask for a sale without giving any value first, and it just doesn't work because there's so much competition out there. So keep that in mind. Make sure you walk people through the buying process in a gradual sense because since it's online you're not in person so it takes a little bit longer for people to create trust because there's a thousand other people doing what you're doing so keep that in mind and you'll be successful take care james with bright idea marketing